Hi, Keely. Uh, okay. So I just now have the time to uh, do your interview questions. And I'm going to tell you, I'm so thankful that you said yes to a video because it makes it a lot easier for me to answer these questions. So number one, what is your position here at Central Catholic? I am a science teacher here at Central Catholic. Uh, and my specific position is I am the general physics teacher and I am also the AP physics teacher. Number two, what other jobs have I had? Uh, well, my first job was at 16. I worked at Whataburger. And then after that, I worked at Hollister. And then after that, I worked at Jason's Deli. And then I graduated high school. And then my job freshman year of high school, or high school, freshman year of college, I worked as a personal assistant for a lady with a small business. And then after that, I worked at an Orange Leaf where I was the assistant manager for about six months. It was really cool. Uh, and then throughout college, I took a break from working until about my junior year of college where I was an undergraduate research assistant for UTSA's physics department. Um, I did uh, my research project focused on machine learning and nuclear materials. I thought that was really cool. And then most recently, I, so this past summer, I worked two jobs. Uh, my first job that I talk quite frequently about is I was a, a robotics engineer for Lawrence Livermore National Lab in Livermore, California. I did that remote due to current circumstances. And then the other job that I had for about a year actually was I was a cashier at Torchy's Tacos, specifically the one at the quarry. So if you guys had gone there um, anytime between June 2019 through uh, August 2020, uh, you, you probably had me as a cashier. So if I were a tree, what kind of tree would I be and why? So I would be a, a Malungai tree uh, as it's called in the Philippines, and it's called a Moringa tree in Africa, but I would be one of those trees. They're called like the trees of life, and the reason for this is because their leaves are incredibly nutrient dense, and they also are very hardy plants. So, um, my dad, so I'm from the Philippines. Well, my parents are Philip, I'm Filipino, I'm I was born and raised in San Antonio. Uh, my parents came here in the 90s, and my dad bought some seeds from the Philippines and he brought them to the US. He planted them in our front yard and we were pretty sure that the Molungai tree was going to die after the first winter because it's like 100 degrees always in the Philippines and we were like, this tree's not gonna last through our like 20 degree winters. And it did. Uh, we've actually had that tree alive in our front yard for about almost, almost seven years now. So it's a very hardy tree. It's very resilient. That's why I would be a Malungai tree. What is my goal for the year? So my goal for the year, if I'm being super honest with you, the first thing that comes to mind is to survive. Um, this is my first year teaching ever with my own classroom at least. And I'm so excited to be here keep that in mind, but I am also seeing, you know, the challenges of being a first year teacher and being the challenges of being a teacher in a pandemic. So I know it's going to be okay. I know it's going to be a good year, but really my goal is uh, to survive for this year. Number five, where am I from? I am from San Antonio, Texas, born and raised. Go Spurs go and go runners. Number six, what is your favorite high school memory? So as you guys learned from that About Me One Slider I had you guys do in the very beginning of the year, my favorite class in high school was speech and debate. I did speech and debate all four years in high school. I thought I was going to be a lawyer. Obviously, that didn't work. I'm here now teaching physics with a physics degree. Um, and my favorite high school memory would be when I won first place in, event, in an event called Declamation, which is... Um, which is an event where I pick a speech that has been given publicly and I give it. Uh, I got first place and I was really proud of myself. Uh, the tournament was West Texas A&M's uh, high school tournament. So if anybody on the debate team watches this, that one's a really good tournament. I really love that tournament. Let's see, what radio station do I listen to? 
on my way to work and why. Uh, let's see. Oh, most, so I usually listen to my Spotify um, because I like Spotify. I like my own music. Uh, but if I'm listening to the radio, then it's probably either going to be put on 96.1, uh, which is, you know, mainstream, or 89.1, which is Texas Public Radio, because I'm old. If I had a baby, if I had a pet button, which is baby rattlesnake, what would I name it and why? I would name it Rowdy after the UTSA Roadrunner, uh, because our mascot was Rowdy the Roadrunner, so I would have Rowdy the button. What is my favorite snack? Uh, hands down, something called elote, which is corn in a cup. Uh, it's a cup, it's got corn, it's got butter, mayonnaise, lime juice, Parmesan cheese, or katiche cheese with either tahine or lucas spread at the top. It's so good. I get it at least once a week, all the time, since my freshman year of college. What is my useless talent? Um... I'm good at figure skating. I was a figure skater from the age eight to 14. So not really ice in Texas. So I, that'd probably be a useless talent. Number 10 or number 11, who's the smartest person I know? And what have I learned from them or like them? So smartest person I know is definitely my dad. So my dad was an electrical and or he is an electrical engineer. Uh, he definitely brought me up with a love for math and science. Starting from when I was young, uh, I've always had that scientist mentality and he really knew how to nurture that. Um, but beyond like, you know, science, he, he taught me a lot of like life skills. He taught me how to be kind, uh, how to show empathy. My dad's a really good man. I learned a lot from him. Where did I go to college and what was my major in college? So I went to UTSA, University of Texas at San Antonio. And I majored in physics with a minor of astronomy and a concentration in education. I was one class away from a math minor. Ah. How many de degrees do I have and what are they? So I have, well, I have a high school diploma. I have a high school degree. I have a bachelor's degree. And another fun fact is I'm actually one class away from getting my associates in mathematics. I started, uh, so I took a year off from UTSA in 2016. I went to Northwest Vista College and I worked on my associates in math. Besides meeting up with family and friends, what is something I look forward to when the pandemic ends? Um, honestly, having you guys back in the classroom. I really love teaching and I really love students and I really love y'all. So I think having you guys face to face is, going to be a lot of fun and it's definitely the thing I look most forward to. And lastly, number 15, what is my favorite meal? Uh, probably be a cheeseburger with fries. I'm a very simple lady, so. All right, that is all 15 questions. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I will see you later.